I watched Norm McDonald's special last night, and my mood has been influenced ever since. So I, I'm just going to apologize in advance <clears throat> because it was amazing. I really, you got to watch it. He did it. It was his last special. It was right when lockdown happened. And Norm and I were, we were friends, but not like, you know, him and David Spade were friends, right? Like I knew him and we talked. And he would message every now and then. And the last question he asked me was about gold. It was funny. And he was, he was, he was uncharacteristically, to me it seemed, concerned about uh, the virus and lockdown. And then we all know why, because he had cancer. He died of cancer. Didn't even tell anybody. Like, even his closest friends didn't know he was dealing with cancer. That's why he was, he had gained weight, because he was on medications and that. But, um, yeah, uh, had cancer and uh, people knew what was up, but he never really talked about it. But he did. He sat in his house in front of his stairs and he had everything draped. And he had his headphones on and a light and he literally sat in front of a computer and went through a whole stand-up routine. And it was so interesting, the medium, because stand-up requires so much of that synergy between the comic and the audience. And yet he still had such a presence that you, st you didn't notice it. I mean, the first couple of minutes you're like, well, okay, I notice it. And then you didn't anymore because it was norm and he was so funny and hysterical and oh my gosh he went there and it, it it's so great there's so many parts so many parts of this that I can't you got to watch it it is hysterical it was one of the funniest things and it really it was a it was a routine where he really he went right up to the edge of discussing what was up but he never dove into it it, 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 you could definitely tell it was a routine, especially watching it after we all know, you know, what happened and what he was struggling with. It was a routine that he would, he was, he was addressing his own mortality. And he was just very, just like Norm Macdonald. He did one of the best things that he's, cause you never know anything that he does. You never know if it's a bit, you just don't. And he, and even his own friends, like they never knew some of the times that he would do stuff, whether they, he was setting them up for a bit or something. Like when he would drop into, he'd message me and ask me about Bitcoin. And I'm terrified to answer because I'm like, is this a bit? Like, I don't know. It's too funny. But he was super, he really was very genuine and super kind. But um, man, that last joke that he told, it was one of the most classic because he'll make a point. And then he walks up the hill around the barn, you know, out over the road and then comes back and then hits it again. And it was, oh gosh, it was so good. Kane watched it. It was, it, they started streaming it last night. You watched it, right? It was, it was you know, because obviously since his passing, you know, you, you catch up on old specials that you haven't seen or whatever. Right. You just sort of binge on the Norm McDonald stuff. And it's been a couple months. And when this popped and I was able to watch it last night with my son, it was like literally so tears good. of joy. Oh my gosh. You know, so during good. the whole thing. And then then the banter between, you know, Dave Chappelle yeah. and and uh David so they had, Letterman. They had a whole round table of these other comics who knew him really well. It was it weird of you to see Dave Letterman and Conan and O'Brien Conan in, in the, the same, same room. Yeah, talking to each other. I it's mean wild. they they sort of have, you know, that that uh commonality with NBC, but um yeah, that was that was a really good ending to what Norm did. <laughs> In that special. I love it how he was like, you know, words, you know, things change. And he's like, you know, can you believe that they're going to look, you know, people will look back on us and, and think, man, can you believe how they used to define women? I mean, uh, you know, they didn't have a, I can't say the word he said, but it's, it's, uh, how do we, slang for a male rooster. Let's say that. And that's not it, Kane. You don't call male roosters penises. You don't do that. It's not how that is. But it was, and he would just make, you know, little remarks. Like, it was just so funny.